Well, hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick lesson in, in um, putting links on Moodle and uploading files to Moodle. So simply, you're in your shell here. I'm going to do this very briefly so you get everything. In the shell here, I'm in my shell. And I go over to the folder files. I'm in as a teacher. I will turn my editing on at the top here. While I'm here. So I can do things. I'm going into here, into files. Okay, and this is just a quick lesson of how to upload a file. I'm uh, going into a folder called Stream 1 Animation and Digital Effects. And I have a folder in here called Media Files, which is where I'm going to upload a new file. file. Okay, I'm actually going to upload this file that's already in here. So I'm going to show you the process. So I go over to the button and I'm in the folder here. You can see and go up through the folders and down through the folders. I'm going up to this button down to this button here upload a file I click on that I click on the browse button I can then browse for the file file which is this one here this guy right over here and I can open that and then I simply press upload this file and it depending on your internet it might take a while best to do this sort of stuff at work so in the end what I get is I get a file in there so if I um, go back to my shell, which I can go to up here, and I come into here, and I go down to the bottom of the page where I can add a resource, I click on the add a resource, I click on link to a file or website. I then go through the form here where I give it a name and I call this uh, intro. I then, instead of uh, putting a link in here, I go choose or upload a file. I then go over to my, my files. This is in the files area. And go over to my stream and go to the folder and then I click on the um, I go over here to choose and now you can see that it's got some more information in there choose or upload so that's why the choose buttons on the right hand side then I come back down to the next section where it says same window and I click new window because I wanted to open up in a new window so it doesn't uh, get away from the page just makes it easier and basically I leave everything alone here and I go save and return and you'll see that it'll be at the bottom of my page because it brings it in at the bottom of the page you'll see that I've got this link to my intro file right here and it opens another page and it's quite a large file so it takes a little while to load up it's a quick time file as you can see so that's how you can just have it open up in a new window. Okay, now to put a link in your Moodle shell, it's quite a simple process. First thing I do is I go down to add a resource and I will go in there and I will click on link to a file or website. I then at the top of the page I will call it it's the website I'm going to link to is called Fairs Fair and I'll even put link in there so people know what it is. I then go okay. So the idea is that you probably would have this already open this web page or you've already copied the link from that web page to put it into this location area here. So I'm going to click on my tab up here on Fair's Fair. And now I've got their website link in there. I'm going to just click and drag and swipe from the W, W, just that area. Don't get this extra bit in there. If you do, I'll show you why. And I'm going to copy that by right clicking and going copy. And I'll go back to my shell. And you see why I said don't take the whole lot because it's already got the HTTP 
uh, backslash is already in it. So I'm just going to click on where I want to paste it. And I'm going to paste in the www.fairsfair.com. Are you? And then I'll go down to my next button where it says same window. And I'm going to choose new window. And then I'm going to go save and return to unit. And then I come back to the unit. And then you'll see there that there's the fairs fair link right there. I click on it. And there's the web page. Okay, so then if I need to put in a link to, say, uh, like I've got here, a YouTube video, then I simply go and view my videos and choose which one I'm looking at. And if I hit the button where it says Share down the bottom of here in YouTube, it comes up with this code here. Now that's your link that you would put in where I just put the Fairfares link in. It has the HTTP backslashes as well. So you have to be aware of that, that that's in there as well. Now, if I wanted to embed code, that's another thing. I can come down here to where it says Embed. And this is the code that you can embed into Moodle to get this YouTube video on there. So I'm just going to right-click that code that's highlighted and go Copy. And then I'm going back up to my shell. And this time I'm going to show you how you can actually put embed the video in the uh, on just straight onto the shell or the link straight onto the shell. So I'll come in here and I'm going to say, um, well, let's just insert a label, okay? So if I insert a label and I come over here where it says code. And I click on code. Okay, so if I actually put right clicked and pasted the code that I've just got into there, let's see what happens. I just put it in front, I control Z that so you can see. I just chose in front of this where it says break or BR, and I just right clicked and I pasted in there. And I save and return. Let's see what happens. So you see what's happening? I straight away got it in there. It's straight away embedded in there. And I can play it. Hey guys, the link. Chad Trofter been here. Close this guy off. All right. So you can see that's a way of that just embedding the code. Okay, thank you. That's a quick way that I could show you. Um, thanks for your, your time. Ciao.